Today we're going to look at one of the funkiest things ever recorded by one of the greatest drummers to ever lay his hands on a pair of sticks. I'm talking about I Wish by Stevie Wonder and it's Stevie playing the drums on this one. He's amazing. The groove sounds something like this. That's my impression of it anyway. I'm pretty sure that the original track would have been recorded with Stevie Wonder playing a mostly eighth note hi-hat pattern and the broken sixteenths that you hear with the open hi-hat splashes would have been overdubbed later. And there's some footage you can find of Stevie Wonder explaining how he played the original groove and it tends to bear out my theory. So uh, what I'm going to show you today involves uh, learning how to play the groove uh, in a way that doesn't necessitate you having four arms. We're going to start with the eighth note groove. And if this is all you're comfortable doing, you'll be fine playing this song. We've got a two bar phrase with hi-hat playing all the eighth notes and the snare on two and four. Then we've got the bass on the one, the uh of two and the three in the first bar. And then we have the one and the one and the E and the R of two, and then the three in the second bar. So we're gonna have a pattern like this. One and two and a three and four and one and two E and a three and four and one. Two a three and four and one and two e and a three and four and or with the actual bass drum it sounds like this. So let's put that all together in groove fashion. That takes care of the verse and the bridge. In the choruses, we're going to open the hi hat on the and of three and the and of four in both bars of our two bar phrase, like this. I strongly recommend open the hi hat. Uh, with the tip of the stick, uh, a lot of the time when we play an open hi hat splash, we kind of dig in with the shoulder of the stick into the the edge of the cymbals like that. Um, but in this case, it really sounds to me like it's just the tip of the stick opening the hi-hat and it's, it's a relatively sloshy sound. Something like that. So I would keep it uh, lightish. To add a little bit of flavor to this groove, we're gonna add a ghost note on the art of two and the art of four. Uh, notice that on the art of two, it coincides with the bass drum. Uh, so you might have to work that one out a little bit. But uh, Stevie Wonder, I'm pretty sure, adds a few of these ghost notes, sometimes it's buzzes, um, to spice up his groove throughout the original drum track. Okay, it goes something like this. Don't do that all the time, but you know, learn how to play that just to give a bit of color, give a bit of variation to your groove. And finally, once you're feeling comfortable with that, you can also add bass drum on the R uh, of four uh, at the end of either of the bars or both of the bars, depending on how it feels. Don't overdo it though, also with that one. Those are just a couple of simple options to you know, make things interesting. So how do we add the broken 16ths, I hear you ask? Well, I'm gonna show you now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to play the groove with just the, the, the one hand, the right hand in my case, playing the hi-hat and the snare, like this.
with the left hand we're going to play the ahs, right? So like this. Some people might prefer, and I think originally I would have played the song with just my right hand playing the 8th and 2 16ths like this. But since I saw Stevie Wonder demonstrating the groove, I thought it made sense. He, he moves in and out of playing hand to hand 16ths and then playing just straight eighth notes with his right hand. And I really like the way it feels and I, I feel a bit more relaxed doing that way myself. Now we've got the broken 16ths, which is good for the verse and the bridge. Uh, we can add the hi-hat splashes in the choruses more faithfully to the original recording. Because in the original recording, we've got the hi-hat opening on the and of three, but the R of four a lot of the time. And it's kind of done in a sloshy and relaxed way, so I wouldn't uh, try to make it obsessively clean, but we've got that little bit of a delay by a 16th note of the second hi-hat opening in, in each bar. So it sounds like this. Loose, okay, don't overdo it. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of accent with the actual left hand stroke there on the R4. Let's add the bass. So that about covers how to play the groove for I Wish by Stevie Wonder. I hope you found this interesting, entertaining, informative, easy to follow, dare I say. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you've learned how to play the groove using this video, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and if you haven't, I'd also love to hear from you. Let me know why not. Um, if you want some one-on-one -on -one help with your drumming, I'm available to teach. Uh, online according to your requirements. So feel free to get in touch with me by looking in the description below. There'll be a link to my website and contact details. Now it's probably time to go off and practice.